Item SCP-5998 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Provisional Outpost 5998 has been constructed around SCP-5998 and should be staffed only by those with strong atheistic beliefs who have not previously expressed religious faith. Any changes observed in SCP-5998 998's condition should be reported to the Department of Tactical Theology immediately. Description SCP-5998 is a desiccated corpse frozen in a kneeling position south of the North Pole at 86 degrees 07 10.6 north, 69 degrees 13 10.6 W. Oh, I mean West. I don't know why I said that. The corpse, which was covered by a thick blanket upon re discovery, resembles a human with several physical abnormalities. Six fingers on each hand, three eyes, bone protrusions emerging from its back. 5998 has not decayed since its discovery. The That's service... not unusual. Look where it is. Yeah. Disturbance of the corpse results in the formation of type 1 Empyrean entities, which is also known as Ophen. Ophnem? Ophnem? I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I'm looking it up. Alright. Well, instances appear to last only. Minutes before dissipating, they are hostile to any personnel within sight. Instances will attempt to move 5998 away, but are unable to do so before their cessation. Hmm. Oh! Why? Jerry? Let me look up how to pronounce that. <laughs> We're both saying it wrong, I think. Ah. Uh. Open. 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 I guess. Better that entire website is wrong. Okay. So you find out what it is? You know those wheel angels? Real what did you say? Wheel angels. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> Be not afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, religious personnel attempting to approach the area are subject to nausea, vomiting, and intense feelings of guilt, sorrow, or anger. Religious personnel transported forcefully to 5998's near proximity will experience seizures and remain incoherent until removed. Those who are currently non-religious, but have been so in the past, will typically experience a religious reawakening for professing a return to faith. 5998-1 is a grave marker comprised of, pi of piled stones stacked on top of one another directly in front of the corpse. The gravestone is devoid of any names and dates, bearing instead the following line in English. The chains have broken, and the fires have been doused. Discovery. The Foundation discovered... 5998 in 1961, after the Department of Tactical Theology had calculated the decreasing effectiveness of various religion aligned containment procedures. Researchers theorized that an Iscariot event, the death or cessation of a religiously significant figure, had occurred, and began reviewing global levels of Akiva radiation. In 1963, Consistently high levels of ambient radiation around the North Pole, Jewish suspicion, and concentrated searches of the area 
were undertaken, leading to the discovery of 5998. The following events have have tentatively been proposed to have been affected by the 5998 Iskaret event. The Quiet Revolution in Quebec, Canada, the Communist Party of China's promotion of atheism as a result to the Cultural Revolution, a renewed interest in German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche's work, as well as the Death of God philosophical movement in the 1960s, launch of Vostok One. Addendum. In 1989, the corpse of a Caucasian male in his early 40s was found buried in a snowbank approximately 15 meters from 5998. Identification in his pocket conferred him as a member of GOI-182, La Spada di Cristo, a Vatican-affiliated group of interests. The remnants of a crash, Piasaki H. Dash 21 Soshni helicopter was were found similarly buried in a short distance away from 5998. Analysis of the crash site concluded that the pilot had likely lost control of the aircraft after a few tank had exploded, though the cause of the explosion could not be determined. A number of items were recovered in various states of damage. An envelope with a letter enclosed stamped by a seal and illegible due to water damage. A gold cross on a chain, warped by the heat of the crash. A personal calendar in Italian for, for the year of 1959. Ink damage is present extensively on most dates for the month of January, stopping at the 25th. Pope John XX III announced the Second Vatican Council on the state, which ultimately resulted in wide spanning church reforms. Anyways, remnants of a map with ink damage present. A textual document was also recovered from the wreckage and is available below in a translated form. To whoever finds this, know what I did, I did with the heaviest of hearts. I grew up, up an orphan. I never knew my mother. My father had gone to serve Italy in the Great War, as they were calling it, and never came back. I was one of many in the overcrowded streets I called home. I most likely would have di died in those streets. Stealing food from the wrong shopkeeper or running afoul of the local mafia gangs. If I had not fa had the fortune of picking the pockets of a soldier. Though I had not known it at the time, stealing from a a sword of Christ would turn out to be the greatest decision of my life. For the first time in my life, I had brothers, a home, faith. The Lord gave me the greatest gifts I had ever known, and a possibility of salvation for a, for a misspent youth. He gave me everything I never knew I needed. It acts nothing in return. What did I do to repay this unconditional kindness? I betrayed him and everything I believed in. The Lord welcomed me into his arms, and I placed a dagger in his back. The Holy Father insisted I would not burn for this act, that I would be venerated among my brothers as a, a Saint Filippo guardian of man's progress, but not even canonization can wash the blood from my hands. Bury what you have found in here. Let me be forgotten, as he will be soon. And that's it. Oh. Alright, let me get 59.98, and what the fuck? What? What the fuck? Is there something we're missing here? <laughs> it uh, it's a monster uh attacking female Jesus.
<laughs> okay, I'll be here with chat. Hello, chat. Are you here? Can you communicate? I'm sorry. <laughs> What does Chet think of this thumbnail? And the chat has died from this anomaly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are book ones here now? And god damn it! Democrat Party, stop sending me emails! <laughs> Why am I getting emails from Barack Obama? It's not... It's not what I clicked on in the email. Find it. Apparently, apparently, fucking. Fucking Amazon recommended me a group of Jesus dolls. I'm gonna intermission because I don't know how long Jerry's gonna take. Um, I'm gonna send you it in DMs, Jerry. But I just got an email from Amazon recommending me that I sh that I would like this item. I took a picture. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Even as a Christian, that would be too creepy. <laughs> Apparently, it you see how many there are in the picture. That's how many you get. You just get multiple. <laughs> also, I'm sorry. I feel like it's a ripoff if you don't if you're getting a bunch of them, but you don't get a fucking rainbow. <laughs> don't the don't Christians say how the rainbow's super Christian and everything? Pretty much, yeah. Where's the the Jesus rainbow? Yeah, that way, that way everyone knows that Jesus is gay. <laughs> There's gonna be. No, he probably is. No, people like to joke about it, but he literally told them to leave their wives for him. Yeah, and also, most probably mo a lot of Christians are gonna get mad at me for that. Well, 
I guess I'll have to prove he's not gay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what do you think about the thumbnail, Jerry? Four. <laughs> <laughs> you know why. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the FCC. All right. I still don't understand why they nicknamed it Is God Dead. Wait, what the fuck? They added two Creative Commons songs in this video, Jerry. Which what? is... Yeah, Miguel Johnson, Good Day to Die. As well, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. <laughs> what? <laughs> This anomaly has nothing to do with Christmas. Uh. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right. And three. Oh, wait. Let me make sure. Nice and loud. So everyone can hear it. All right. And three, two, one. I'm gonna need you to get close. Real close. Right up next to it. Uh-huh. And then the Empyrean entities will manifest? Yes, they're also known as Ophanim. Heavenly Wheels. Agent Chen, you surprise me! Spend some time in church as a kid, Doc. Chen looked out the thick windows. In the distance, he could see the figure kneeling on the ground. He pushed through the doors and made his way towards it. The temperature was 30 under and the wind was biting. Sir, we've reached a minimum safe distance. All right, stay here and watch my six. If what you guys said is true, I'll be coming back in an awful hurry. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-5998, Man Ascendant. Shout out to Gemstone Legends. Download from my links in the comments and you can win an iPhone 13 Plus Pro or a Samsung God Galaxy 21 Plus. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification that bell. He proceeded forward yeah. towards it, its humanoid shape becoming clearer. Something started to come over him, an odd feeling. His eyes began to sting as the wind whipped into them, seemingly freezing the tears which had suddenly started to form. What was it he was feeling? Was it piety? God? He had been warned that this could happen. He took a deep breath. Suck it up, Chen. Do your job. He stepped forward again. In the air above the figure, he saw glowing lights starting to form. It was the Ophanum. They were coming. No time to waste. He started to run towards the figure. With each stride, he felt more guilt and sorrow. He pushed forward. In the air, they had materialized. They didn't look happy. Almost there. One of them dove for him. His reactions kicked in as he slid around the statue. What, what was that? Were those bones coming out of its back? He came to a stop almost underneath the figure's face, having grabbed its hand as he slid past. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, Jerry. It's, it's a body, not a statue. It's a, why did they add a belt? We don't know what he has on. Are we undressing the corpse? Wow. Are you randomly addressing the corpse? Well, actually, the only image we got is right here. Yeah, that's why I said we don't know what he has on. Right. I'm accusing them of undressing the corpse. Yeah. Because Wait. Why, why would a frozen corpse be dressed like that in the first place? Wait, also, it kind of looks like they're giving, like, Greek clothing. Because the, the sash and kind of like the, the, the leaves, like, you know, the golden leaves. <laughs> Wait, Greek? Let me look again where this is. I I believe this is in the Americas. Well, it's in the Let North me... Pole. Yes. That is far away from Greece. Yeah. And I I guess the North Pole doesn't count as the Americas. <laughs> it's its own separate thing. <laughs> Something was wrong though. He looked down and opened his hand. Six fingers. What was this thing? 
He cast his eyes upward now, onto the figure's face. It had three eyes. Three cold, dead eyes peering into his very soul. The sorrow and guilt were overwhelming now. In the sky, the Ophanum were descending down to them. Chen what? quickly scrambled backwards. They grabbed the statue and tried to pull it, but it wouldn't budge. And just like that, they started to dematerialize. Chen breathed a what sigh of relief. I don't know. Something was digging into his back. He turned to see what it was. Are we taking it was drugs? a small pile of stones with only... Huh? Are we taking drugs? Maybe. <laughs> The words. Oh, was it the, chains the chains have broken. The, the fires have been doused. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I thought it was on a note, not a random wooden sign. The grave marker comprises a pile of stones down on one another okay. directly in the corpse. The gravestone is devoid of names and dates bearing it. For, well. Okay, I was uh, wrong. It's not a note, but it also isn't wood. It's stone. Yeah. Which would have been easier to animate too, than this. What, why did they, did they think it was just? Cheer! I know why they did it. Why? It's in the shape of a wooden cross. They could have added a cross to the gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> so no excuse. <laughs> like, we have to. I wonder if Chet's enjoying this right now. Well, there's like three people watching, so two besides me. Like three or four people, so. Yeah. They get to see they've changed the stone into wood, the cross, even though they could put a cross on a stone. Yeah. Let's continue. We're only Maybe two. They think Christians don't know how to carve. <laughs> And plus, I see more stone and plaque gravestones than wood. Wood is actually something uh, that was commonly used by poor a long time ago. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. We're only three minutes in. Okay. It's a broken, and the fires have been doused. Are you seeing this, Doc? Is the feed coming in clear? Yep. Let's proceed. Right. I guess it wasn't Chase that long ago because even in the West, they were using wooden uh, graves sometimes. Hold on, let me see if I can cut it off real quick. Isn't that the GOC symbol up there? Yes. Why is the GOC symbol? <laughs> or maybe they accidentally made the GOC symbol and they're just weird blue fans. Yeah. Case file says male, approximately 40 years old, found buried under the snow in 1989, not far from the figure. Short distance away, also buried, one Piaseki H-21 Shawnee helicopter. Okay. Body looks consistent with a crash and fire. Confirm. What else? ID card in left front pocket. Member of La Spada di Cristo? The Sword of Christ. Didn't know you spoke Italian, Doc. Just a little, but I know my group's of interests. This is GOI-182. They're closely tied to the Vatican. That's enough for now. Hang tight and let me see what I can dig up. Doc, be quick about it. This temperature is making my hair go flat. What? 1961, what? you say? Yeah. Oh, God damn it! not these two again. <laughs> ever, t ever since I started reading the Oracle argument, uh, not argument, article, I can't even see that I think the articles in the the oracles in the article had no mouth. I don't know how they laughed, but yeah. anyways, let's continue. Yes, yes, it was a good year. Chateau Latour was especially delicious, if I do recall. There was a late frost. The entire region suffered. The surviving vines put all their energy into what grapes lived. 
leading to a concentrated and strong Bordeaux. But that wasn't your question. It was an Iscariot event. Yes, I recall it as well. I felt the Akiva radiation. It felt like... Like what? Well, like an angel had fallen. The professor had pulled some what? strings and arranged the meeting. Right. That's not even mentioned. We don't even know what the fuck the entity is. <laughs> they could be a god. They can be an angel. They can be a weird human. <laughs> There's just—it's just a fucking corpse. <laughs> Just a frozen corpse, a weird frozen corpse. Yeah. It's a lot of holy energy. Oh my god. Meeting for Kloss. Despite being a man what of science, is happening? he was nervous. Why had no information been forthcoming when the statue had been discovered all those years ago? And would he find the information and answers the Foundation hadn't been able to then? Welcome, Dr. Kloss. Please, have a seat. The Cardinal will be with you shortly. Thank you. I appreciate you organizing this meeting on such short notice. Of course, of course. Lucius has been an ally of the Church for many generations. Though we are never sure where his beliefs lie, he has, nonetheless, helped us many times. The Cardinal walked into the room, a tall and stern man. I have a little time. We have told you all we know before. I apologize for the disruption, Your Eminence, but something isn't clear to us. Angels have fallen before, but the radiation levels were what? never this Wait. high. <coughs> the only angel normally that I, I know of it uh, that isn't this one is the many winged angel and the gate guardian. I don't recall anything about them falling from anywhere. Yeah, I mean, for all, I think, I think, like, fuck, I forget the na name of the angel's name, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to represent, you know, Guardian of Eden. Even yeah. though, even though it's most likely not Eden behind the Gate Guardian. In Let's fact, the Akvia radiation levels from the North Pole are Even still the elevated. Even the wizards call him guarding a, guard a fool guarding a fake garden of Eden. Yeah. Oh yeah, wasn't it 682 that said that? The indes almost indestructible wizard? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, we all know he likes to say shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably picking a fight with him. Honestly, I don't know who else would say shit to the Great Guardian. Probably Jack Bright. I don't <laughs> think he would. <laughs> or, okay, or, the, or the Scarlet King. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Anyways. Do you question me? Do you question the church? It's not that, Your Eminence. Perhaps if I could see your files on the incident- Impossible! The arrogance to question the Vatican. Leave now, before I report your insubordination to the Zero Cinque. The other priest nodded towards him and raised his hand ever so slightly. Kloss took the hint. This cardinal wasn't his ally. Thank you for your time, Your Eminence. I... The Cardinal is a man of strong faith and little patience. I have heard stories, but it is a closely kept secret. Return now to your foundation. Let me see what the archives hold. God is in the details, and God is truth. Klaus heard his phone go off. It was the father he had met earlier that day. I've gone through the archives, Dr. Klaus. But little information remains. Most has either been redacted or hidden, but I did find something. I will send it through to you now. Yeah. I don't think any of the Italian people I've ever met have ever had that accent. Do I have that accent, Jerry? 
No. <laughs> so Italian. I'm talking about the Italian people I've met online that, that, you know, can speak English. And even people I watch on YouTube that are, like, from Italy don't yeah. have that accent. Yeah. Wait, I'm just realizing, I'm looking back at the article, nothing was redacted. Yeah, nothing was redacted. They didn't need to. <laughs> I can't add. Make off. It what you will. It belonged to the man you found with the helicopter. Godspeed, Doctor. The message came through moments later. It appeared to be a letter, almost like a suicide letter. The man took responsibility for the death of the figure in the snow. He spoke of putting a knife in its back and of the regret he now felt. It didn't add up. Did I going to read the angel, note? Why the cover-up and the enormously elevated radiation levels? He picked up his phone and called Chen. Also, not good what the note was about. Right. There we was. Don't know the note was about the figure in the ice or someone else. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Chen, I need you to go to the statue again. It's not a statue. What the temperature is right now? Negative thirty-three Celsius. It's important. See if you can find any distinguishing features, symbols, scars, etc. You mean besides the six fingers, three eyes, and bones coming out its back? Just have a what bones? I think. Uh, th it did say there's bones coming out of its back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is this? Yeah, I think when it's trembles a human of six uh, fingers, in, uh, six fingers in each hand, three eyes, bone protrusions emerging from its back. Yeah, but it doesn't say bones emerging from a speck. It says bone protrusions, meaning All it right. probably had like things protruding out of its back, but they were bone stick. You know, there's a difference, right? Yeah, no, I think about it's it. Yeah, like little lumps or like thing, tiny things sticking out. Probably the suggestion there might have it might have remnants of things. Maybe not. We don't know. That sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so it wouldn't look like random things around the robe. It wouldn't look like that because that's not the picture. Right. <laughs> I think it's an angel. Okay. Here we go again. Hold on. Here's one thing. That I'm going to start to think. They're probably going to bring in the Starctic Cults. Saying it has to deal with this anomaly in some way. Because a lot of the uh, uh, godly beings in the SP universe are connect to sarcasm. But this one isn't! Yeah. I can see it happening. <laughs> it just press play. This time, it's going to be quick. Eyes on me. The agents nodded as Chen took off at a sprint. As soon as he got close, the Ophanum started to materialize. He felt the guilt and piety swelling in him again. He knelt down, face to face with the statue, and looked for anything Not out a of statue. the ordinary. He searched his face, but nothing was apparent. Time was running short. The Ophanum were almost on him. He heard Kloss in his ear. Get out, you're out of time. Ten seconds. Get out now, or those angels are gonna have your head. Five seconds. But it was too late. They were on him now. Chen shut his eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What? It had gone silent. Chen opened his eyes to see the Ophanum had stopped. What happened? They... they stopped. I read out the Lord's Prayer and... It suddenly dawned on Kloss. Oh. My. God. Sure looks like it. Three four three is God. What are they talking about? What? Oh my God! There's literally no true information in this entire thing. There's yeah. no suggestion you need to be of faith to go near it without dying, which is the opposite. <laughs> 
Provisional Outpost 5998 has been constructed around SCP-5998 and should be staffed only by those with strong atheistic beliefs who have not previously expressed religious faith. Any changes observed in SCP-5998's condition should be reported to the Department of Tactical Theology immediately. SCP-5998 is a desiccated corpse frozen in a kneeling position south of the North Pole. The corpse, which was covered by a thick blanket upon discovery, resembles a human with several physical abnormalities. Six fingers on each hand, three eyes, bone protrusions emerging from its back. SCP-5998 has not decayed since discovery. Disturbance of the corpse results in the formation... extra fucking ribcage. Yeah. Sorry. ...of type 1 right. Empyrean entities. While instances appear to last only minutes before dissipating, they are hostile to any personnel within sight. Instances will attempt to move SCP-5998 away, but are unable to do so before their cessation. Religious personnel attempting to approach the area are subject to nausea, vomiting, and intense feelings of guilt, sorrow, or anger. Religious personnel transported forcefully to SCP-5998's near proximity will experience seizures and remain incoherent until removed. Those who are currently non-religious but have been so in the past will typically experience a religious reawakening, professing a return to faith. SCP-5998-1 is a grave marker comprised of piled stones stacked on top of one another, directly in front of the corpse. The gravestone is devoid of any names and dates, bearing instead the following line in English. The chains have broken, and the fires have been- Oh down. my gosh, they're playing- We wish you a Merry Christmas. Like, if you pay attention, you can hear it. In 1989, the corpse of a Caucasian male fuck? in his early 40s was found buried in a snowbank approximately 50 meters from SCP-5998. Identification in his pocket confirmed him as a member of GOI-182, La Spada di Cristo, a Vatican-affiliated group of interest. Whether you believe in God, gods, atheism, or something else, always keep an open mind and respect all people. You are a human... When was this posted? It's December 23rd, 2021. No wonder why. <laughs> Alright, you ready, Jerry? Yeah. Removal of character slash license. Four. <laughs> uh, added gore or violence. Because the only thing, time those things popped up at all were basically brief visions. It's not any person on site. It's just a little tip to me. Yeah. Even though they say they're, they're hostile, it doesn't describe how they attack. It just says they're hostile. <laughs> well, I think it's said they're hostile because they're assuming they might be the ones causing religious people to go through nausea, vomiting, intense feelings of guilt, sorrow, or anger. Yeah. It has nothing to... Wait, what? Huh? Right. Yeah. It has hidden words. Wait, what? The article has hidden words! Does? Wait, I'm confused. What? The article has hidden words. Let me show you. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, I, I, I'm coming. Fine. Waiting for it to load. Oh, I see it. See? What the fuck? Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna show stream. Alright, I'm gonna show stream. Just do all of that. You want me to highlight the next part? Ah, uh, I highlighted everything so I can see everything. Alright. Yeah, let's see. Well, if you have it down, then I'll just, uh... Wait. I tried. I did it. 
to make things better than I had. This world of ancient horrors and distortions and reality is fundamentally broken. I gave you commandments to keep your minds and souls pure. To you, freedom was better than servitude, even if it would lead to your destruction. I couldn't see what your flawed eyes, those beautiful eyes, could see. I ignored them and declared my punishments for those who would defy me. I see what you see now. Humanity shall decide its own future. The snow is cold, a familiar feeling. It feels beautiful. Yeah, let's see, uh... Dying in the dark. You're living in the light. I did my duty. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. They didn't even this include doesn't... that. This still doesn't say it's God, but it definitely sounds like something. Right, it might have done Maybe something bad. Angel. Yeah. I could see an angel, but not God. Yeah, anyways, deviate from the plot of the article. Four. Yeah. Only man slash offensiveness. There was only men in the article, but... I guess it's zero. They didn't remove anyone's gender, but... No, they didn't do any racist shit, either. Uh, I'd say one, then. Uh, oh yeah, kinda. A little bit, yeah. Okay, so 15%. Yay! Alright.